Tokyo is very busy and you probably want to get away from all of this. So you know what? I decided to escape and escape I did. Located about two hours south of Tokyo, there's a little place called the Izu Peninsula. And within the Izu Peninsula, traveling down the coastline, I went to a place called Usami. And Usami was the perfect getaway to get away from all this lights and business of the city. What it's well known for is it's surfing and it's scuba diving and some foods. So I decided to go here to get away from all this madness and to spend an evening there. And uh, this is what I found. So I arrived late in the evening over there that I had to check into the place where I'm staying at. That place where I decided to stay at was just like a little studio apartment. And I booked it through booking.com and uh, it was quite a spacious area. I had the whole thing to myself and quite a lovely view of Usami. And this is where I stayed my first night. After I put all my bags in and checked in, the next thing was to go find some food. In this area, a lot of things were pretty much closed late at night. Not too many things were open, what I realized. However, I was on a hunt for a bowl of ramen, and I found this little place known as the Ramen Village Cafe. And to show you ramen is what I decided to have for my dinner. Now, this little bowl of ramen was quite tasty. Very nice chewy noodles, good nice chunks of meat, Look at these lovely eggs, so tasty. And overall, the bowl was just delicious and I crushed the full thing. And after that, I decided to head back to my little pad and uh, pretty much just chill for the night and rest. Uh, our next day, the idea was to go visit some shrines. And then after go visiting some shrines, we were gonna go to the beach and then uh, maybe highlight all the delicious foods you can find in this one particular little area. I heard there's a shrine here called Kamano Shrine and uh, I just drove out into this road out in the middle of nowhere. It's a cemetery. I don't really know if there's a shrine here. I thought there was. Oh, so much for Google Maps telling me. Oh, this place is pretty wild. Well, I guess if you're exploring, here's to exploring. It is an interesting place though. It's got a beautiful view, look at that. Gorgeous, right? But I don't see a shrine, all I see is a cemetery and brush and spider lilies. These little, these little things here are spider lilies. Well, let's get our bird up in the air and let's go see. There is actually a shrine here. A very interesting place. All right, look, here it is. Here's our shrine, our small little shrine. <laughs> All right, so here in Isami, I visited two Buddhist temples. And the first Buddhist temple is Inoji. And the second Buddhist temple I visited was Kagakuin, a uh, very hard to get to. And then behind Kagakuin Buddhist temple, there was a Shinto shrine called Kumano Shrine, but I couldn't for the life of me get into it. Fascinating uh, because, you know, Buddhist temples are very different from uh, Shinto shrines. Shinto shrines are more inviting and more welcoming. But the way the Buddhist temples felt, it was just uh, the ones out here, by the way, they just seemed more like closed off from everything. And that's what I felt. And so there was a little bit of a uneasiness going through these areas. It was a little challenging finding the spots. I had to drive to these weird little hills on a mountain. And in even getting to the destination, there was a one place I just realized where I was parked. It says that I'm not supposed to park there. It's an experience, right? If you're curious, and you want to check things out, that's what we do is we go and we go look. But uh, it's just awkward feeling just driving through here. So I think we're just gonna, let's just go to the beach. If you like ocean and you like ocean view, this is a place to be, Usami Beach. Uh, the waves are actually quite big today, but it's uh, still very lovely. Uh, looks like this place is pretty popular amongst the local surfers is what you can find here. Also a good place you can just stroll around. These are one of the reasons why you would come to Iza Penissa. Let's enjoy it. This is the Ocean Bazaar or Itomurin town. It's located right between 
Ito Station and Usami Station. And it's probably a place where a lot of people are gonna end up stopping anyways, because here's where you can buy souvenirs and food and all those things. The most important thing you know is we are here to look for food. So let's go find something good to eat here. It's a uh, Mekon Cider. That's what it says, Mekon Cider. So let's try that, looks pretty good. Easy Kokin Pudding. But the store's number one is this one. It's the basic pudding. Number two, Mizu Yokan Pudding. Lam Raisin. Roasted malt pudding. I think I want to try the sky blue. Caution, birds will come and eat your food. We got this Mekan Soda, and we have this sky blue jelly pudding. I was super curious, so I thought, hey, since we're gonna try food, let's try these and see what they taste like. So first of all, let's try this Mekon soda. Oh, all right. See how that tastes. Mekon cider. Mekon cider, not Mekon soda. Mekon cider. Okay, very nice. Light carbonation. Very citrusy taste. Uh, quite delicious. I would say I'm down with that. Hey, that was good. All right. This sky blue jelly pudding. Oh, look at that. It looks like a sky. Let's dig right into there and let's try this. Sky blue what it? The first thing that comes to mind tastes like bubblegum. But bubblegum with that custard cream. Very creamy. Not like sugary sweet, which is what I like. And it's like a subtle, subtle sweetness. Very subtle. It's just right. Delicious. But let's go find some more food. What are those? Ooh, these look good. Let's taste. All right, I got one of these. It's a milk cheese cake. It looks so delicious. Who doesn't like cheesecake? Let's try. Mmm, very, very rich. Super creamy. Just a little hint of cheese in there too. Super, super good. The sweetness is just, it's just right. It's got like this milky cream inside of it. Mmm, -hmm. oh, very good. A milk cheesecake. Now that is really good sweets. There are like uh, several restaurants here that you can eat at. Let's, let's go see what they have to eat. Uh, maybe we'll have a little bit of a lunch lunch. We'll see. This place, so they got, they got ramen. And then this place over here, looks like they do like seafood. Ooh, it's like a teishoku. So you get like rice and seafood. The next place over here, Izuku Banban Shokudo. I also taste the fish. They're gonna have soba or udon. I think I'm gonna do an udon. We're gonna do this because this thing right here looks like it's super popular. And now uh, let's eat it. All right, it's lunchtime. We have this thing right here. It's called a sakura ebi karage. It's got a very rich shrimp smell to it. it smells, it smells amazing. I just wanna like bite out of it already. And then of course we just have our regular udon. And of course, we have this dipping sauce to both it. It's cold, so it's like a zari udon. So we got udon and then the sakura ebi karage. Let's dig in and let's taste. Thinking a udon is just udon, old udon. Lunch time. Mmm, I think udon zunar. Tastes quite nice. But what I want is this. Ooh, it's got a crunch to it. The question is, what is the best way to eat this thing? Do you just break it into bits? Or you just get it all over you like that? Mmm. I guess we'll just have to break it into bits as I make a mess of myself. Mmm. Tastes like very crispy shrimp. That is very delicious. What's nice about this, it has um, it's got a very nice crispiness to it. And it's got a very good shrimp flavor also. I mean, when you dip it in the sauce here, it tastes even better. So the udon with the sauce is really, really good. And then the sakura ebikake is really good also, but just super crispy. And all together combined, this makes a great lunch and a great way to cap off the day. All right, I'm gonna finish my lunch now. All right, and that was our visit to Ito Marine Town. Hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. I found it quite tasty and quite delicious. 
Thank you for making it this far to the part of the video. I want to share with you a very, very special announcement. If you're coming to Japan and you'd like to have a tour guide, I'm going to give out one of my three hour blocks for free. That's right. You and a friend can come hang out with me and I will take you out for a three hour tour in Japan, free of charge at no cost. I'm only going to give this away to two people. And this is what you need to do to get this tour. What you'll need to do is comment below in this video, let's go. And the reason why you should be chosen to be on one of my tours. And I will be announcing the winners of the giveaway at the end of October in our community section. So please subscribe to the channel, like the video and comment below, let's go. And the reason why I should choose you to go out on a free three hour tour in Tokyo. All right, and now back to our regular channel for viewing. And thank you for joining me today on our little adventure here in Asami. Hope you had a good time. It's great to always get out of Tokyo every now and then to experience these different places beyond the city. Japan has so many rural areas that are just great to explore. And I hope that uh, maybe you will be able to experience this place when you come to visit Japan. Uh, once again, thank you for watching the video all the way. There are more videos here about Japan if you'd like to learn more about Japan. And if you're not yet subscribed to the channel, please subscribe, do like the video, and comment below. I always love to hear from all of you. And with that, I will see you on the next round. Cheers!